we all need advice from time to time. Many of us are blessed to have had advice passed down to us from people we love. When the best advice ever received is shared, it can influence the trajectory of our lives and businesses. Welcome to The Robin Graham Show, the go-to podcast for Christian entrepreneurs and business owners who want success without social media. Are you tired of hearing you must be on social media, posting at just the right time, and constantly selling in the DMs to grow a successful business? Are you sick of spending countless hours producing valuable content with little to nothing to show for it? Worse yet, are you fed up with imposter syndrome? that inevitably comes from time spent scrolling on social media, no wonder you procrastinate. But I've got great news. There is a better way to grow your business. Hey friend, I'm Robin Graham, a Christian business coach and marketing strategist specializing in growing a successful business without social media. I'm also the author of You, Me, and Anxiety. The Robin Graham Show is a podcast for faith-based business owners and entrepreneurs who want to follow their God-led calling and uncover joy, purpose, and passion in their life and business while having an impact and making money. Each week, I'll teach on how to grow your business without social media, in addition to various topics and strategies that you can employ to do so. Think how-tos like marketing, SEO, personal branding, PR, email marketing, and sales strategies tech tools, systems, processes, and automation, the -the behind-the-scenes stuff you need to simplify, and strategies to recognize and navigate mindset barriers and anxiety. I and my guests will give you the best advice to help you create the life and business of your dreams, with a healthy dose of Jesus, of course, so that you can build a solid foundation for your business and create a lifetime of limitless earning potential while fulfilling your purpose and creating a ripple effect of good in the world. If you're tired of overthinking and doing all the things with minimal results, you're in the right place. I'm all about simplicity, ease, and grace while having fun, creating an impact, and making money. Subscribe for new content every week. And be sure to visit therobingraham.com forward slash resources to download free resources to help you grow your business for limitless earning potential. And if you want, email us at the team at the We open all of our emails and would love to hear from you. Tell us what your struggles are, your challenges, or just say hi. Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to the Robin Graham show. Today, we are celebrating the 300th episode of the podcast. I can't believe it. It's just a great milestone and... I'm just thrilled to be able to share it with you. First and foremost, I want to thank you for listening, for leaving ratings and reviews, and for sharing and subscribing. You have made the success of the show possible, and I will be forever grateful. Thank you. I also want to thank the 75 plus guests that have shared their time, stories, advice, hearts and souls with us. We are blessed to have heard the conversations and received the wisdom that they shared. To celebrate this incredible milestone, I asked former guests what the best advice is that they have ever received. There are so many valuable, fun, inspiring thoughts to share. I would love to hear from you as to which advice being shared today resonates most and which advice you're going to choose to follow. Or... If you have great advice to offer, share that with us too. You can tag us anywhere on social, or you can just send us an email at team at therobingraham.com. Be sure to share the advice with friends, family members, anyone you think could use it. Sometimes just a little piece of advice can go a really long way with transformation. We'll all go farther and achieve more if we do it together. Be sure to check out the show notes because I'll link the original interviews with each of the guests that are sharing with us today, as well as include the best piece of advice they ever received and a link to their website. These women have 
all had inspiring journeys, and I know you'll learn from their interviews as much as you'll be inspired by their best piece of advice that they're sharing today. To start, I'm going to share two pieces of advice that were shared with me. They've really helped me focus on what's important. The first is from my father. If you wait until something is perfect, it will never happen. I'm pretty sure he probably took this from Ecclesiastes 11.4, which reads, those who wait for perfect weather will never plant seeds. Those who look at every cloud will never harvest crops. So friends, I want to encourage you, stop waiting until things are perfect. Take messy action. And if a mistake happens, learn from it and move on. The second piece of advice I love is from my godfather. He used to say, and it's something my kids still say because he taught it to them very early in life, work hard and love harder. Of course, it takes hard work to succeed in life and business, but without love, it's never going to be as fulfilling. So enjoy working hard but enjoy loving harder. One of our former guests, Stacy Isetta, shared this as the best piece of advice she ever received. Create a life with purpose, on purpose. It is a phrase she heard from Julie Voris, a coach of hers. It resonates with her every day and sets the tone for the shifts in her life. The rest of the advice is by audio recording. So grab a cup of coffee and enjoy. Hello, this is Emily Golden of Golden Resources. You can find me at golden-resources.com. The best advice I ever received was, Emily, you are playing not to lose instead of playing to win. Start playing to win. What this means is when we're playing to win instead of playing not to lose, we're focusing on success instead of focusing on preventing mistakes or errors. I hope that this is useful advice. Thanks so much for asking and happy 300th episode, Robin. Hi, this is Lucy Liu, host of the Lucy Liu Show. My business is Lucy Liu Coaching and you can find me at lucyliucoaching.com. The best piece of advice I ever received is when there is faith, there is always a way. It doesn't matter what background you come from or who you believe in the higher power. But when you truly have faith, you will believe. And when you truly believe plus take imperfect actions, you will always find solutions and accomplish all your goals. Every single time I ever faced a challenge in my life, I always go back to remind myself of this advice. And each time I am reminded that the current circumstance is only temporary and it is neutral. I get to decide how I react to the situation. I get to decide my thoughts about the situation. And because I remind myself that there is always a way, my mind and life is ready for new doors to be opened and new opportunities to bring in solutions. Therefore, I always welcome more blessings to come into my life. Hi, I'm Sarah Sambles, a coach and writer. You can find me at sarahsambles.com. Okay, the best advice I ever received was to have an end of day ritual. I was struggling to get to sleep at night because of the endless to-do list. When you run your own business, there are a million things you've got to be thinking about. And I thought it was to do with my bedtime routine, but somebody called Emily P. Freeman talked about having an end of day work day routine. And when I started doing that, I noticed that I could get to sleep better at night because I had already dealt with the stuff that was hanging over from the end of the day. So what I do now at the end of my work day is I get my calendar out, my agenda, and I write down the things I was really proud I got done that day. And then I write down the stuff that is hanging over me, the stuff I'm worrying about. And then it's out. It's out of my head. It's on paper. And I can always look at it tomorrow. I hope that helps. 
Hi there, Samantha Harris here, membership mentor and business strategist at the Samantha Harris Collective. You can find me on Instagram at samanthaharris.co or wherever you listen to podcasts at the Exponential Life Podcast. The best advice I've ever received for business is that nothing that's meant for you will ever miss you. No one else can take it and you've just got to show up and do your part to get it. God's perfect timing will always prevail. Hello, my name is Betty Lamar. My business is Life is a Journey of Escapes, a travel blog for women over 50 to plan the journey they've been dreaming about. I can be reached at www.lifeisajourneyescapes.com. The best advice that I ever received was to never let your fear keep you from your goals. You're better than you think you are, so let your faith be bigger than your fear. Hi, this is Kel Haney, fundraising consultant, trainer, coach, and speaker. I'm all about taking the ick out of the ask. You can find me at kelhaney.com or on my social media happy place, LinkedIn. The best piece of advice I ever received was from Sandra Davis, president and founder of the fundraising consulting firm, Donorly. Sandra taught me to never hold on too tightly to a job. In her experience, securing the next one is always possible. This advice reminds me that sticking with a job or a client or a project that isn't working is never a good idea. We should always be in environments where our superpowers are seen and supported and where we're inspired by our collaborators. Why settle for anything less? It helps me to show up courageously and authentically in all of my interactions, not just work. And it inspires me to communicate generously and actively listen, but be prepared to move on if the relationship is no longer in alignment. This advice also encourages me to stay clear on my personal goals, career objectives, and overall vision. I hope this resonates with you all too, and congratulations on the 300th episode, Robin. The best advice I've ever received was from a boss very early in my career. She said, acknowledge people, thank them, give them compliments, let people know you got their email, tell them you appreciate what they do, give people credit when you're talking to others. Looking back over my career, I realized that following that advice helped me build my wonderful lifelong network, uh, without whom I never would have been successful. Hi, this is Janet Olmstead. I'm a behavior change health coach, author, play expert, and director of Red January Canada. You can find me at JanetOlmstead.com. Advice makes you see the world through a different lens. And my dad used to say something every night at dinner, which wasn't necessarily advice, but made me notice the world through a different lens. He asked, what was something nice you did for somebody else today? It made me go through my day more conscious of how to help others, not just myself. That perspective has informed a lot of the work I do. As a behavior change health coach, I hold every client I work with in unconditional positive regard, which is a fancy way of saying having no judgment. This acceptance allows individuals to openly explore and express their thoughts, feelings, and experiences, promoting personal growth and self-discovery. Living by doing something nice for someone else guides my personal and coaching actions because it shows genuine care and consideration. I value that advice because thoughtful actions can create a positive impact and strengthen relationships. Hi, this is Karen Laus. You know how many women often hold back due to self-doubt? I am on a mission to change that. I help high-achieving women reclaim their power by developing confident communication skills without feeling ruled by self-doubt so they can feel the freedom to ask for what they want, advance their careers, and become an unstoppable force for good. I am a keynote speaker, confidence cultivator, and communication expert. And the best piece of advice that I ever got was from my mom. Be direct, honest, and kind. When you have those three things, you build trust and relationships quickly. You're straightforward, and I have found that in leadership, that is a very important skill and in life. So looking forward to connecting. You can reach me at karenlaus.com. That's K-A-R-E-N-L-A-O-S.com. 
Hi, this is Nikita Ren Thigpen, co-founder and CEO of ThigPro Balance and Relationship Management Institute. Let's see. The best advice that I ever got was honestly when I was feeling stuck at a, a different chapter of my life when I was starting a new story. I feel very much anchored to a reality that we arrive at different parts of our life and we feel like we we got it, we hear, we know everything, we understand all the answers. And then we evolve again. And then if we're brave and bold enough, we expand from that point and do it all over again, which can put us in this kind of loop of analysis paralysis, which makes you feel a little yucky because you thought you had the answers at one, two, or 15 points of your life before these different chapter markers. So the advice I got when I was stuck in one of these newer loops and I was really questioning my questions was, if you know what you truly want, you can have everything. First, you have to define what matters to you most and separate it from the expectations of yourself, meaning your old self, the older version of yourself, the one that thought it knew everything or up to that point and separate it from the expectations of others that are no longer serving who you are becoming in this next chapter, this new story of who you are meant to be. You can find me at thigpro.com, T-H-I-G-P-R-O.com. Hey there, it's Jody Silverman. I am a mindset and happiness coach supporting women in navigating life transitions such as empty nest and midlife. You can find me at jodysilverman.com. The best piece of advice I have ever received is to never be sorry for no, because within every no is an opportunity for something better. Blogging is not dead. Whether you want to blog to inspire others, grow your business, market your podcast, or practice writing, you can do it with ease. If you're a small business owner or entrepreneur, a blog is an integral part of your digital marketing strategy, especially if you want to grow your business without social media. Blogging is a sustainable digital marketing strategy that can save you time, energy, and money. Creating content doesn't have to be cumbersome. With a blog, you simplify content creation and you become more efficient with your time, energy, and money. And you have more opportunities to reach your ideal audience and convert them to paying clients. Introducing the How to Start a Blog and Reach Your Ideal Audience self-study course. In the course, you will learn how to get found by your soulmate clients on search engines like Google. Work smarter, not harder. Simplify your business to save time, energy, and money. Create a sustainable brand marketing strategy. Share your story, differentiate yourself, and inspire others. Become a better writer. Attract more soulmate clients and readers. Become an authority in your area of expertise. Increase your visibility and grow your community. Generate revenue. And even help you expand your reach if you have a ministry. Achieve all this for only $47. But note, For a limited time, through January 26th, we are offering a coupon code so you pay only $19.97. Simply go to the show notes for the link and the coupon code. Are you ready to start and grow your blog? Go to therobingraham.com and you'll see the course details under the services tab. The direct link is in the show notes. And that's a wrap, friends. A heartfelt thank you for being here. I know there are many other ways that you could spend your time. So I truly appreciate you joining me. If you enjoyed this episode and found the information helpful, please take a moment to subscribe and leave a rating and review. Ratings and reviews are how we grow and get amazing guests and how more people find the show. A kind review would mean the world to me. Oh, and don't forget to share the episode with someone that it will help. And let's connect. You can find me on Pinterest and LinkedIn as therobingraham.com. And be sure and visit the website, therobingraham.com forward slash resources for a plethora of resources to help you grow your business for long-term success. Until next time, remember to smile.